Having trouble getting those bass to eat? You need to spoon feed them, and I'm here to show you how. So geeks, we have caught several today off of this. This is the Nichols four inch, and I've got a crank wrap on it because I fish clear water. So don't think that spoons, especially flutter spoons in the summertime, don't work in clear water. There are things you can do. The very first thing I wanna to talk to you about though is absolutely the types of spoons and selecting the right size spoon for the job. That really is the biggest key when it comes to summer spoon bass fishing. Match the hatch or slightly above the hatch. A lot of times that's what is gonna get those reaction bites. This is a reactionary bite. Sometimes they might be keying on a four inch, but this big seven or eight inch spoon will be the one to get those bigger bites that are in that school or sometimes get any bites. Trust me, two, three pounders, they'll eat it. I do heavily suggest stinger hooks on the top. The other thing is I always, always run a swivel. Now what's great is you can just put a treble hook right here on that split ring or on that swivel split ring. Trust me, it works just fine as a stinger hook if you don't want to go with something like this. So you'll notice on a lot of mine, I use the crank wraps and they have the spoon wraps. Uh, I'm a big, big fan of these because I fish a lot of ultra clear water, but they school up where I'm at. You know, you always want something like this. You know, I'm going to fish this when I've got probably three foot of is and they're down deep. These are the Nichols Ben Parker series. Uh, like I said, Jinko fishing, I think it is, makes a huge one that I like. I've got it hanging on my wall at the house. Um, Strike King makes some really good ones. These are the uh, Sexy Spoons, uh, Green Gizzard Shad. And another company that I like a whole lot, and they make a very unique spoon, and that is Ledge Hog. So Ledge Hog makes a spoon that is designed to flip docks and marinas this isn't the one i don't have one of those with me because there's no uh docks or marinas on this lake but let me tell you in the summertime right now in the heat of it boys and girls throw a big spoon around those docks and marinas you will not be sorry geeks this is probably one of my top three right here and it's lake fork they make some killer killer spoons so literally right now if, if I had to rank my top three, it's probably going to be Lake Fork, Nichols, and Ledge Hog. Those crank wraps make spoon wraps. They make swim bait wraps. They make jerk bait wraps. They make crank bait wraps. The one that's on the spoon that I've been catching them on today is actually, I think it's like a 6XD gizzard shad wrap. So I'm not going to show you how to put these on, but I'm going to tell you, and it's super easy. Basically, you can put one on each side. That's fine. I think on the small ones most of the time though, it doesn't really matter as much. So, but on the big ones, I'd probably put one on each side, especially if it's ultra clear. But basically it's a sticker, man. You just pop open the pack and what's great about them is they're sealed, right? So you just pop open the pack, put it on there, line it up. Once you do it though, have a lighter. And I don't know about you guys, but I keep in a dry box, a lighter in my boat at all times. You should, you never know when you're gonna be out. You never know when something might happen. You have to spend the night on a bank somewhere and uh, starting a fire can mean life or death a lot of times, depending on what time of year it is. And that really sticks it on. All right guys, so here's the setup that I use for my spoon rods. This is a Tactical Elite. Now from TFO, the Tactical Elites are no more, but they are, now the tactions uh if you guys haven't seen that video uh and you'll be seeing some of these in some future videos so i'll put a link in the description for the right kind of rod that you're going to need for this and what's great about this rod is it is an eight foot because i like to make long cast it's got a nice long butt and i'm going to tell you that is very critical when it comes to the bigger spoons to be able to put that underneath because a lot of times you're going to rip them up right 
and trust me it's a lot of resistance so this is an eight foot mag heavy it's a medium fast but i mean it's got a good tip on it you ain't got to worry about it uh one to five ounces is what it's rated for and so it'll throw that little four inch like it's nobody's business now you'll know i've got a clip on there i i tend to do that so it's kind of double swiveled right there but hey well it works it's catching them today in ultra clear water so you can argue all day but it works all right here's the next thing this is my lose i use a super duty you're gonna want a good heavy duty reel and for me i like a fast reel a seven five uh seven eight i don't know that i'd go because of the torque uh loss of torque i don't know that i'd go with eight but i'd see i could see it working pretty easy but you want a good rod that's going to hold a lot of line or a good reel that's going to hold a lot of line now what are we talking about when it comes to line guys you know it this is actually one of the times that i use k9 fluoro which is their co-poly so that's got a little bit of stretch to it because we are dealing with some big heavy trebles so you don't want to you don't want a lot of stretch you don't want that mono stretch you don't want braid in my opinion it's going to float and i you know i just think you're going to rip hooks out kind of the same with fluorocarbon uh but this has got this is it's like the happy medium line i love it for this for this and my big swim baits it's buoyancy neutral and guys i'm throwing 17 to 20 pound test on here all right now let's talk about how we actually fish this bad boy there's two different ways that i retrieve it it's the very first retrieve if they're on bottom you can just cast it out there feed it line that's critical feed it line and you'll watch it pull 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 and then once it's to the depth you want whether it's you know whether you're counting it down to some suspended bass or whether you're sinking it to the bottom once it stops pulling line then you're going to just rip it up do it at different heights sometimes they want it just to come up off the bottom a little sometimes they want it ripped up and shooting to the moon right so you know just like a jerkbait cadence change it up now the other way that i like to do it is cast it out there let it sink to the bottom and do it kind of like you do a feather jig or a bucktail jig and i like to just give it a couple of really hard reels okay really hard really quick now for you guys that are live scoping out there and you're able to see them keep it above them keep it right to them today those little jerks letting it drop down right to them that fall is what kind of enticed them and then the more i could let it fall and they were willing to chase it you know or, or follow it down or get it above their head and it come right to them and work it all the way to the boat guys work it all the way to the boat you've seen one time today where they hit literally right under the boat man when they key in on this thing and it was the small hops that seemed like that's what they wanted today uh they'll follow it straight they'll follow it straight to the boat and yes by the way you can use this from the bank now i'm not going to tell you you're going to use it in a place like this look at that mike right there. i mean don't throw it around a bunch of wood but if you've got a silty sandy rocky bottom throw these things trust me you're just ripping them up count them down and keep them in the middle of the water column all right geeks you know it questions and comments in the comment section below you guys know i love talking fishing with you like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe make sure you ring that bell so you get the video notifications when these videos come out listen 100 percent watch squad you guys are making my dream come true i need that to grow and it's free and as always you geeks rock